Hey everybody, so um, the look we're going for today is this one. And it's my Bioshock Infinite look that I recorded months ago when I started this whole video game series. But um, <clears throat> when I was in Delaware and was in my mom's room and all that. But um, I deleted it and I'm just now actually re-recording this video, which is crazy. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you want to see how I did this, just keep on watching. Bye. Okay, so first I'm going to um, prime my eye with my NYX um, eyeshadow base. This is the skin tone one. I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and apply that all over my eye. And please excuse me if this tutorial is kind of dead. I have, I mean, it's my allergies acting up. My throat has been like kind of off and on, and my voice changes and it cracks, and I've been coughing, sneezing. So, yeah, but I felt like making a video today, and I had Julian's camera to at my disposal, so. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, freaking car alarm's going up. But um, next I'm going to take this uh, Elf Shimmer Eye Pencil. It's just like kind of a gold one. Um, I don't remember the name of the color, but I'm just going to apply that. Um, all over my lid on top of the base we just put down. Seriously, car alarm, really. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, here we go. Come on, car alarm, just go off. <laughs> so, there, I have that down. And um, <clears throat> next, I'm gonna take a kind of like, I'm gonna mix two colors, um, kind of like shimmery, um, light brown colors. So it's going to be this one right here, the one this is, and then this, oop, there it is, this one right there that I'm mixing together. And I'm going to apply that to my inner corner, and I cannot wait until Bioshock Infinite comes out. It's going to be an amazing video game, although the walkthroughs, not the walkthroughs, but the demos that I've seen. Um, have been uh, just amazing. Like the story is just so crazy, <laughs> and the things that you can do in this Bioshock are just wild. The fact that the, the lady ripped a hole in the space time thing was just crazy. Like I wish I could do that. She can bring things from like alternate dimensions and use them and. Yeah. So anyway, next I'm gonna mix um, other two colors because this look is supposed to be it's supposed to be patriotic, red, white, and blue, but it's supposed to be um, kind of decrepit. If you've seen the picture of like the case, it's almost like um, like, and I know at the end of um, some of like the previews and stuff like that, like they show Bioshock Infinite, and then it kind of like goes through like a weathering process, like almost like it got torn up through time and then it's kind of like pieces of a flag hanging off and it's just worn and weathered and all that so that's the look I'm going for with this kind of like a red white and blue but kind of um what's the word I'm looking for uh kind of uh um not ancient uh antique there you go like an antique red white and blue look so anyway I'm gonna mix this bright red right here if I can find it, there goes this bright red right here, and then this brown right here together. And this Damon Levin. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna mix those two colors together and apply them to the middle section of my eye, overlapping the kind of like tan gold color we put down and just keep doing that until I get the desired kind of brick not brick red but like um I don't know what to call this like a brown red color 
I guess it's like a brick, right? Like an old brick. Not like a new, shiny, I just bought this from Home Depot brick. Like a brick that's been sitting there for a minute. <laughs> and, um, just applying that. We're kind of blended out better later, but right now we're just kind of applying it. So I think that's good. Okay. Next, for this dark, for the, the blue, really, um, <clears throat> we don't have to mix anything because the blue that I have in this palette is already a dark, like, navy blue. And, oop, ah, if I can find it. Okay, here's the navy blue right here, where my finger is. And we're just going to use that, and we're just going to apply that on the outer corner and kind of bringing it in a little bit. And I hope that I am staying in camera and in focus. Um, kind of a different setup here in the room and so trying my best and the lighting's not the greatest either it's overcast outside but I wasn't gonna let that stop me from recording so yeah I said you know what I'm gonna record this whether it's overcast or whether the sun is shining in my face so there we go they were done pretty much with like the the main colors of this look <clears throat> Um, sorry, thought there was a hair in my face. Okay, next I'm gonna take a um, mix kind of, or like use two different browns. First, I'm gonna use this kind of milk chocolate brown color right here, and put that in my crease. And I'm, as you see, I'm using the same brush, and um, I will do a, I'm gonna do a video and like a review and all that on these brushes that I have later. Um, I'm waiting for more of my the things that I ordered off of eBay to come in before I do a haul. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just waiting for all that to come in. <clears throat> then I'm gonna do a haul, and then I have to do like piece by piece by piece haul. And it's just not it takes a lot of time and effort. So there we go. We have that brown, and then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that dark blue and place it into my crease as well. Then I'm going to take this, um, the brown that I mixed the red with, I'm not sure what to call it, and um, almost like a terracotta color, so, and I'm going to um, apply that, as you can see, like right here, just above, and over, over top of that other brown, just give it a kind of a nice tone and, you know, something different. Like I said, this is all supposed to be like an antique kind of look. <clears throat> Do my eyebrows. For my highlight, I'm just taking a kind of peachy neutral color. You could take whatever highlight works for you because clearly not everybody is the same skin tone, so not everybody is going to be using the same highlight as me. So yeah, and if you lose some of that brown, you can always go back and just apply it. more of that blue. Make sure everything blends really well. Okay. <clears throat> so we're pretty much we're done with the eyeshadow. Next I'm gonna take it by um wait, find where I put it. Um oh here it is. My eyeliner pen um from in color and I'm gonna line my eyes and I just have been like I love this eyeliner pen. I've had it for I want to say maybe a year or I had it for a good number of months like when I was in Delaware I had this and now I'm at Bowie and it's still working like you see it's still pretty black clearly that like my eyeliner line does not look like the other eyeliner line but that's okay we'll just imagine that it does I want kind of a dramatic, like, winged liner, because this game is just, I mean, it's like an out-of-this-world game, really, because it's, it's nothing like I've seen, like, the Bioshock people have done a great job, uh, do great jobs of creating worlds, like, nothing anyone has ever seen, like, Bioshock Infinite is just a floating city of just 
like crazy like it's a floating city like how do you like how do you think of that like how creative can you be to think of a floating city as the backdrop for your next game like and then create that it's crazy but um really quickly I'm gonna just fill in my eyebrows with this um wet and wild dark brown um eye pencil I've just been using this because it's so much quicker than my elf um brow kit and plus I need to reorder the my elf brow kit because the um the gel is practically gone in both of the ones that I had the dark and the medium so yeah I gotta stock back up on that I think that's good okay now I'm gonna take my um my elf coal eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna line my bottom my waterline and I love this because it is super duper creamy like and dark like look at that uh so gorgeous so and then I'm gonna use the other end and I'm going to smudge it just it gets everywhere on your hand because it's got a sharpener that comes with it so it ends up getting everywhere, but I'm going to just go ahead and smudge the bottom a little, just to smoke out this look, teeny tiny bit. Okay, then I'm going to apply my mascara, like so, and I need to get more mascara. I'm just completely and totally slipping on my makeup stuff. Okay. It never fails. I always seem to manage to get some kind of mascara on the makeup that I've just done. It never fails. I try and I try and I just can't seem to get it. Okay. So there we go. That's it for the mascara. Uh, trying to wipe away some new spots. Alright. So the eyes are done for blush. I'm using my um, e.l.f. blush in Blushing Rose with my blush brush that I got in the um, my brush kit, which I will show you guys later, like I said. And it's just an angled... Um, blush brush and I love it it works so well okay so there is that and then for lip gloss I'm gonna use my elf lip gloss in love which looks like this and you saw that in the um the haul that me and my friends did together There we go. So this is the completed and finished look. This is my Bioshock Infinite look. Please excuse this bump right here. I'm stressing out really bad. And it's just, yeah, the, the life ain't going as sweet as it should. But I really hope you guys like this. Um, I really like this look. It's a very um, different look. I like it. It's, it's funky. So, um... Look out, like this, like I said, this is the Bioshock Infinite look. I'm trying to finish <clears throat> the last two looks that I was going to do for um, my video game things, which was this Bioshock Infinite, and I was going to do um, Dead Island. And then um, that was all I had planned, unless um, some new games come out that I like the packaging of, then I'll do those looks. But for now, after this, I have... Dead Island, and then I'm done with my video games for now. And then I'm probably going to do, um, <clears throat> I want to do Hunger Games looks, but, here's the catch. I want to do Hunger Games looks, but I want to do them using, like, glitter in each look. So, like, 
yeah I, I explained it in my update if you watch that but I want to use glitter in each and every look that I do for the um the Hunger Games so it's like Hunger Games and glitter I think that'd be fun and I think I'm gonna do that next so um I'm rambling and I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in my next one so mwah.